here we are. We're getting close to the 10 killer meetup. Now Pooch has got to get after it and get his campsite ready. I say my campsite, but I got to have my sleeping quarters. Now this year, Pretty and Pooch, we're going to be staying on the grounds and we're going to be camping in the bed of this truck. It's going to be a first for Pretty. It's actually going to be a first for Pooch to stay in the bed of his truck. Well, now let me rephrase that because there's been a few times I've slept in the bed of my truck. But we ain't going there and it ain't going to be nothing like that. But Pretty and Pooch, we're going to be camping. We're going to be truck bed camping. And what I've got myself is a soft topper. A soft topper is canvas. It's kind of like a hard fiberglass topper, but it's canvas. So this ought to work pretty well for Pretty and Pooch. And, but I gotta get this thing installed and get it ready. And I'm looking forward to it. And I appreciate my good buddy, Justin at Back Road Freedom. He's got one. I've seen him camp many a nights in the bed of his truck underneath the soft topper. And we're gonna try it ourselves. So let's get after it. Let's get this thing installed. Yes, sir. Now you see what I did first? I opened up the box, took out all the parts, laid them aside. I'm pretty sure this box is gonna contain the canvas I probably ought to go ahead and open it up, lay it out, let it kind of get to temperature because everything I've heard and read is if you let that thing set out in the sun, that will help soften it up. It makes it easier to stretch over. But um, this all looks pretty straightforward, but I'm pretty sure Pooch is going to have to read the instructions. So um, y'all just going to have to sit and bear with me. Pooch wants to do this right because it wasn't cheap. Wasn't too expensive, but it wasn't cheap. And I intend to use this many times hereafter. So let's get the rest of our packaging ready up. Let's get it assembled and set for assembly, actually, in the proper order that it needs because I don't want to miss, break, anything. Because if Pooch don't read the instructions, he's gonna force something to work and pretty sure that ain't gonna work. But let's figure it out. Let Pooch get his head straight on it. That way he can do it correctly. And you folks can watch as I do it. Yes, sir. Now Pooch has already got the canvas laid out. He's gonna let it sit there in the sun while he assembles the, uh, the bracing and the, the poles and everything onto the bed. That way it gets good and warm or to make it easier to stretch and put on. Yes, sir. Okay, first step was to put these rails up on here. Of course, it's obvious that the snaps are gonna go on the outside. This was split right here, and I slid this into this part here, which gave the rest of this here uh, rail for that bed, and I did the same on the driver's side. I'm not sure of uh, how far up this thing's gonna go, but um, we'll figure it out. And it looks as if it's only gonna go so far out because that's not gonna let it go too far, um, much further out. So we've got the outer rails on the bed. Let's uh, see what we gotta do next and get on to the next step. Yes, sir. All right, what I've done now is I've attached these uh, what they call um, a rear door, uh, rear bar retainer clip. Those were put on both sides, driver's side and passenger side. Fairly easy, but it's done. Now what I've got next are these uh, clamps which hold the rails to the bed. Um, I have cargo uh, rails within my bed where I've got these um, little cargo tie downs that I can use them in used to tie strap stuff down in the bed of my truck but I gotta line these up get these put in and uh, we'll be on to the next step yes sir now y'all can see they're inside that rail they kind of uh, 
loop over the top of that rail and hold that in place. There's two on the rear and then there's two on the front up there to kind of um, help support that rail. Probably keep that uh, canvas shell from flopping around. But there we go. We got those installed. I didn't tighten them up yet because I'm probably going to need to be doing some uh, maneuvering and uh, aligning. But I've got that put to the tailgate edge. And I've got this lined up with the front of the tailgate or the bed so we'll see what the next step is and we will move from there but yep coming along fairly well let's go now pooch ain't ran into too big of a problem yet but you know he's got to have that calm down so he better pack his lips so he can stay focused mm -hmm. yes sir we're good to go. Alrighty. I have uh, placed the uh, top canvas bars onto the pivot, the pivot bars. And then this will be loaded up into the bed here in a minute. And I'll be connecting those pivot points to those little hooks right there. So, um, it says use two people, but you know Pooch, he does stuff by himself. That way there's no confusion and there's no aggravation. <laughs> but uh, I probably wish I had another person, but we're gonna try to get this mounted up in there. Let's see what she does. Yes, sir. Okay. I've got these things hooked up. They're in the pivot points. And we're back in business now, so um, as you see, all assembled to that point, and we will get to the next part, and we'll see how that goes. Yep. Pooch. Let's get after it. Okay. Let me tell you something. Snapping that canvas onto those... Uh, bars well after i got the bars on put on canvas snapped and it pulled over the top and trying to pull it tight enough to get that canvas snapped to those rails that was a chore let me tell you now it ain't finished because um i've got to get up in here see if i can't secure and tighten the straps and everything else down but there you go there's what she's looking like so far pooch is pretty impressed with this so um let's see what we got to do next to button this thing up yes sir well all right now i've got to adjust this rear window bar i've already got it snapped into place but um i'm gonna have to drill a couple of holes right there and insert the screw so it'll keep it the length that I need it to be, which this will snap into that little corner piece right there, and there's one on the other side. And when I want to close the window and tighten her down, that'll be what secures the back window. So uh, let's get that done real quick, and we're getting close, folks. We're getting close. Well, folks, there you go. The soft topper is now installed on the Tundra. I really think this will uh, this will make a pretty good uh, solution for Pretty and I as we go camping at Ten Killer. Uh, coming up at the end of the month, we're excited to go, looking forward to it, and I think this is going to work out great. We got some other goodies to go with it and we'll see about getting those installed too to make our camping experience the best it could be for pretty but um let me go get pretty see what she thinks be right back all right now that we'll get baby out here and we can see what she thinks she'll come in here and take a gander we'll see if it meets her approval what do you think baby 
get in there? Where's the door? It's right there. Yeah, drop the tailgate down there. Go ahead and drop the tailgate. And then these little bars right here. Now it's zippered though. See, they got zippers. And you can unzip the door here. Okay. And do the other side too. But what is, what, what, what do you unzip? Well, that's just so we can raise that lid and open and close it. And then you can take this and see how it pops out of these little rails right there? Just pull it out of that little snap thing there at the corner. Bar? Yeah, pull it out. There you go. Let's see. Now what do you do? And we'll just fold this up. Well, there we go. It ought to stay right now. But, yeah. Of course, I ain't through. I got a few more things to do. Of course, we so have. You'll put the bed in there. Yeah, we have it's a. Dirty in there. Well, I washed it. It's clean. Oh, it's clean. Yeah. Clean. But um, I've got us an air mattress, an inflatable air mattress, which should fit in here, and cover up, and loop around the fender wells and all. So. The fender be, wells. Yeah, the where the wheels are in the bed. Uh -huh. But yeah, we'll have our um, air mattress in there. And, of course, we got our camping pillows that Granny got us. Yes, Granny got us camping pillows, Miss Wanda. Uh-huh. And I've got our lantern lights, remember, that we get to put in there. Uh-huh. So, so our light is going to be the lantern lights, or do you have an actual, like, a, do well, you have like a lantern? Yeah, lantern? yeah. We'll have, and also have these LED strips I think I'm going to put in along the bed rails. Those will be kind of cool, too, but... Um, of course, on the end of this, so we don't have to put our tailgate up when we're in there sleeping, there's an attachment that goes to this that will be able to leave the tailgate down and it'll actually come into here and it'll have a door we can open and go inside there. So we'll be able to keep the back open. So, but with the enclosure thing that attaches to the tailgate that keeps the bugs out or what? yeah it's all zipped and contained yeah no stairs to get in you gotta uh we'll bring us something i was thinking of this right here oh cool yeah okay. either that or we'll find something different to oh, that's a good idea. yeah so you don't have to hoof it up there yeah I, mean, I don't mind yeah put it like that and we'll just we'll climb up in there and we'll get in there and we'll go camping <laughs> Wash my eyeballs and my face. And... Well, we will, uh, man, what is this camera doing? It's doing something crazy. Well, we'll bring our little, um, we'll bring our little canopy. And I'll probably set it up over the back end here. And we'll have our table. We'll have us some water and stuff. And, of course, baby will be able to get in and probably do her stuff. But, Yeah. <laughs> and then somewhere on this side, I think, is where the the porta tent, porta potty tent will be. Has that come in yet? Yeah. Where is it? It's over here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well. But yeah, I got a few more things to hook up here, so we'll be able to tell how our camping's gonna be and all. Huh. It ought to be fun though. I think it's going to be fine. No air conditioner? Oh, no. There won't be no air conditioner. Now, I do have a little fan that we can take. Okay. But, yeah. I have no makeup on or anything. So. Yeah, this camera is doing something crazy, too. It's like it's focusing in on you and zooming on its own. I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something crazy. Where's the potty? See, look how it's, I think it's focused on you, but yeah. The, hang on, folks, let's get the little, let's get the little potty thing out real quick yeah, so we can take a gander out. at that yeah, real quick. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Now, look now, there. Here. Look now, this is what baby's real concerned about. There's the little 
There's the little bag. <laughs> Air freshener for you. The liquid waste gel. Okay. So oh baby God. goes in poos or whatever. She can dump that in the bag and then What what does the gel do? What does the liquid I guess do? It hardens it up or something. Hardens it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this looks like... Oh, my gosh. Okay, this feels like it's a steak. Oh, liquid waste gel. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's not... Hey, it's deodorizing for baby. <laughs> quick, quick gelling and solidifying, coagulating okay. and deodorizing. Okay, this feels like the steaks to anchor the, oh my the gosh. gel down. I don't know what all this is. We'll have to look at it and see. Little bags for something. Maybe that's the one you got heavy-duty <laughs> waste. <laughs> <laughs> the baby might need to use these. Mm, I don't we'll think so. Well, what lose. do you sit on? Where's the thing you sit on? This is, um, who knows what this is. This is some kind of, that's another bag for something. <sighs> Let's get it out. Maybe going to test it out. Okay, so you got a little. A little strainer? A little strainer. This goes together real quick, like somehow. Uh oh. Looks like it's gonna need to go like that, and then I think this will somehow. Now that's not. That's not gonna be sturdy, you know. Good Lord, that's awful looking. Okay, that's just terrible looking. Yeah, I think that'll work out great. Baby will take her a little bag and just, and then do what she's got to do, and then. Okay, nice. Now let's see what this thing is real quick. Hey. This is probably. That's the tent. Adventures, adventurous fun, essentials, living, adventurous living, fun, essentials. What's so fun about it? <laughs> it beats having to go to the other place, I guess. Now let's just see. Woo! Woo! Oh yeah, look at that. Is this supposed to be this way or long ways? What? What do you mean? Recording. I'm recording long uh, or yeah. sideways. Yeah. Okay, this will go. Right. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on now. I could dress in there. What the heck? Some kind of battle. Because you've been in there? Yeah. Need a fan, a built in fan or something in there. You can um, put this in there like so. 
That way you got a bunch of... And I even think it's got a... A window? Oh yeah, look. It... Let's see here. When baby's really got a... <laughs> Let's or see. or when you after your destruction if you need more toilet paper you can just there's a back door here look come look over here in the back hold on if you're out of toilet paper what are you going to do well, i'm not going to come in here without any toilet paper no but if you run out what are you going to do baby and then wave your hand out of that hole <laughs> help help there's a, even a backdraft oh back here. Oh my god, that is hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> Got a backdraft going on. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Get air coming That's from both ways. hysterical. <laughs> oh, it that's going to work be out good. <laughs> it will work out great. So yeah, there you have it. The Porta Bagno, that's going to be uh, essential for pretty. Heck, who knows? I might need it too. But anyway, another part of uh, the camping setup for Pretty and Pooch at the 10 Killer YouTube Meetup. And let's see what I can get into next. Yes, sir? Well, folks, I think I'm going to get into the next little to do along with this soft topper. I also bought a little thing called the uh, topper tent, which is uh, an extension which I will install and put on the back of the soft topper here, which will allow me to leave the tailgate down and it'll give us a little more room at the foot of the inside. You know, most of the time you need to close the tailgate, drop the back window and all, and you're kind of enclosed and you lose a little bit of space. but with this uh, topper tent, it's gonna allow me to have, what, look, maybe 16, 18 more inches of the tailgate and uh, also allow for ventilation too, because it's got a zipper door which you'll be able to get in too. But uh, anyway, let Pooch get in on putting this thing in so we can see how it looks. Hope you folks enjoy it too and just uh, kind of showing what you can do and when you really wanna go camping. Make it easy as possible. Let's get after it. Yes, sir. All right. The first part of this uh, topper tent install was to remove the soft topper window, which I've done. I've exposed the Velcro seam right there, and it came with a uh, strip, which a double-sided strip, which is right here, and I will be placing that uh, to this lining it up placing it up on there and then we will move to the next step let's see how it works okay I've added that uh, flap the velcro is adhered to the soft topper window here and of course you leave this open it's applied all the way down to the top part of this soft topper window and uh, now let's get to the next step Alrighty, it said flip the window over of the soft topper, which allows the top to fold over. Of course, that's what we will be reinstalling on the inside of the soft topper. And also, the tent topper came with uh, two zipper sides, which these, of course, is what the window would be zipping to. But in order to use the tent, you will be placing these in the zippers on the inside up here and um, that's where you will zip up and attach your tent so let me get up in here and attach these things and then we'll move to the next step yes sir okay I've got the zipper straps put in here of course the zipper zipped and the uh, velcro is to the outside which would be to the window as you can tell, and I've done this on both sides from setting inside the soft topper. So let's uh, move to the next step. Yes, sir. All right, 
The next part was to reattach the window, which of course we've reattached uh, the window and you wanted to keep that flap side on the inside because that right there is where you will be attaching the uh, tent topper. But the window's back in place and we're gonna move the next part, see if we can't put the uh, rest of the tent in here. Let's go. What we'll be able to do here is roll this window up and uh, of course tie it up out of the way so that we can uh, attach the rest of the tent topper. Let's get it. Okay, we've got the back window rolled up. Of course, we're utilizing these uh, straps here. They're snapped into place, which holds that window up and out of the way. And now we'll get to the uh, tent topper part, I'm sure. So let's see what we gotta do and let's do it. Okay, the next step will be adding this Velcro, which they call it a loop, but we will be adding this Velcro to the inside of the bed here. Um, you will take this long piece and cut it to length, but you will be putting it on both sides of the inside of your tailgate area. So we're gonna do that real quick and let's see how we go. Okay, I've installed that Velcro right in here on each side. As you can tell, a little darker on this side, but I got it in. I was a little concerned on the placement of it, but from the looks of the picture that I was looking at, it looked like it was inside of where the tailgate comes up quite a bit. So I kind of put it to the edge and I think it's gonna be all right. But um, if not, we'll figure it out. But there we go, let's get on to the next part of the show. Yes, sir. All righty. Well, we've uh, attached the tent on the inside of the Velcro, of course, of what we had in place from installing the zippers and the Velcro at the top of the window and it attaches to the Velcro at the top of this tent. So um, let's, it is secured at the sides where we place that Velcro on the inside of the tailgate, that's in place. So the next part will be, I'm sure, attaching the straps that we have here to the uh, to the tailgate, and we will see. We will see how that works, and I'm sure we might need to do a little adjustments. But um, let's get after it. Let's see what it does. Yes, sir. All right, folks. We've got the tent topper installed, as you can tell. Of course, it's connected to the inside of the soft topper, of course, and it straps down over the tailgate, which basically just gives you a little more open room inside um, of your soft topper here. Um, this is a pretty cool product, tent topper made in the USA, of course. Um, it's got two roll down doors. It's got a mesh door, which allows you to zip it up. And then of course, if you need be, it's got the, uh, the canvas type cover if it starts to rain or whatever. But uh, let's put them down so you can see what that looks like. It definitely adds more room in here rather than closing the tailgate and being stuck in there. You got a little more room here to to hop up inside of it and uh, let's shut the door so you can see it. Okay, there you go. You've got the uh, zipper door down with the mesh insert if you wanna sleep with that open to give you some light in there. But if it's breezy or raining, you know, you're definitely gonna wanna close that up. And again, you can just take uh, your, your top that you've rolled up here, undo that undo these two and that's the same way the the zipper nylon held up but look she rolls down you can velcro it it's got the velcros there on the sides make sure she's in place and look at there closed off from the rain a little more privacy however you like it 
pretty cool deal there and that's how she looks on the back of the of the topper there with the truck now believe me that may not look like a whole lot more but you definitely got more room to uh get up in there and not be all up in your mare mattress and all of that so just a little added you don't have to close the tailgate feel all cramped up in there just a little more room a great a great addition to the soft topper you can get your uh tent topper to go along with it all right well i couldn't get pretty out here at the moment but i'm sure she'll see this video and um as you can tell i've already uh rolled her up which is a cool thing also about the tent topper uh with the soft topper is you can roll that tent topper up inside about like you do this this back window roll it up strap it up and it hangs up on the inside where when you're ready to use it all you gotta do is let go of the the loops and she'll fall down you connect her into place and there you go you'll be camping but again pretty cool products here i'm glad i got these um gonna use them at 10 killer meetup of course and i'm quite certain i will use them either solo camping or when pretty and pooch go camping it's gonna be a cool thing cool thing to have and i'm ready and excited to use it but um again we appreciate it hope you folks enjoyed this hope you folks might think about getting you a tent topper and a soft topper reasonable way to go camping and pretty uh pretty secure for what it is so anyway folks pretty and pooch will see you guys again soon leave your comments and thoughts about this i got some other stuff coming up that i'll be doing as part of uh fixing up um, this little truck bed tent camping situation and you'll see it when i do it Anyway, folks, y'all have a good one. Appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and go ahead and subscribe to Pooch. Everybody needs a friend named Pooch. They call me Pooch. And don't forget, everybody needs a little pretty in their life. She ain't here, but she's pretty. Thank you.